All right, here is the last test for that, that first certification on Python Institute. Okay, what is the output of the following snippet? It's gonna be four. Because the two goes to the output, so it's gonna be two times two, four. Easy. What is the output of the following snippet? Okay, so first it's going to do any, and it's going to put a 2 there, 1 plus 1 is 2, and then it's going to do var 2, 1. Okay, um, the following snippet, print function 2. erroneous because it's only passing one argument and the function takes two arguments. What is the output of the following snippet? Okay, global y. y equals x times x return y. Okay, pass 2 into there. y is equal to 2 times 2 is 4. So it should be 4. Easy. Okay, which one of the following lines properly starts a parameterless function definition? No. Yes. No, no. What is the output of the following code? Okay, so you enter a value and that's gonna come in as a string. And then you try to divide a string by a string, it takes that value, and that is illegal. That's a type error. So it's a very, very bad input. What code would you insert instead of the common to obtain the expected output? Okay. Okay, so this takes this puts the dictionary as ABC. Okay. So that dictionary is zero first. So no, yes. Okay, what is the output of the following snippet? Define function x. If x modulus 2 is 0, return 1. Else return. Okay, so fun 2. 0, so then returns 1. 1 modulus 2 is not 0, so it just returns. Code will cause a runtime error. What is the output of the following snippet? Uh, okay, add one to x, return x. x equals two, x equals function x plus one. So that's three fun 
fun. Three plus one is four. Return four. Print four. I think so. Might be might be delirious and hallucinating right now. Assuming that my tuple is a correctly created tuple, the fact that tuples are immutable means that the following instruction, my tuple one is equal to my tuple one plus my tuple zero. I don't think so. You can't do that with tuples. I think it's just illegal. No, I don't think so. Okay, what is the output of the following snippet? Dictionary, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, okay. It's actually one, two, three, one, two, three. V is equal to the dictionary one, so that V is actually equal to two as a string. For K in range, for the length of the dictionary, which is three, I think that's, I think you'd get yeah, it's three. Um, V is equal to dictionary. V, so V was two. Okay, so V dictionary one is two for K in range. V is dictionary of one. No, that's not two, so it's gonna be three. This is a confusing one. V is equal to dictionary. So that's two. So V is now three. Print V. I mean, right? But that's just, for, that's for all three of them. This is two. This is three. This repeats itself. So V is equal to, first it's equal to three. And then the second time it's equal to one. And the third time is equal to two. I think that's it. Oh, that was hard. A built-in function is a function which Following snippet, <clears throat> find or def function one 
Get function two. Okay. Print function two two. Okay, so we can plug two. So that's function one. <coughs> So function one two times function one two, which is two to the second power. So four times four is sixteen. Yeah. What is the output of the following snippet? My list. Mary had a little lamb. Define my list. My list. It takes the argument, it doesn't return. If it did return, uh, it would be Mary had a ram, uh, but since it doesn't, and then we're passing that like that, it's just an error. Let's get rid of the errors. I'm gonna add some stuff to that to make that work. Okay, which of the following lines properly starts a function using two parameters, both with zero default values? Easy. Function defined in the following way. Select two answers. Yes. And yes. Okay. And then let's finish in this test. The fact that tuples belong to sequence types means that output wait what did I just do there the fact the tuples belong to sequence types means that I think that's the only what is the output of the following snippet X is zero, Y is three, Z is one. Three times one is three, two times three is six. X is zero, so six plus three is nine. Boom, baby. What is the output of the following snippet? That looks pretty erroneous. Let me look. Okay, so pass three in. Three does not equal zero, so return three plus. Can a function call itself? Maybe it can, I think it can. Three plus function two, which would be 
2 plus 1 2 plus 2 plus 1 6 I think it's I think that's what it's going to be what is the output of the following snippet tuple 1 2 4 8 tuples more I don't really know tuples that well but I think okay so tuple one semicolon negative one that's gonna take two two four I think two four is the new tuple here and then that's going to extract the first two into top. So it's going to be two. Select the true statements about the try accept block in relation to the following example. Try accept. Okay. <coughs> when you suspect the snippet mirrors an exception, you should place it in the try block. That's true. The code that follows the accept statement will be executed if the code in the try box causes the clause runs into an error. I think that's true as well. If there is a syntax error in code located in the try block, the accept branch will not handle it, and a syntax error. I think that's false. Well, a code that follows the try statement will be executed as a code. No, okay. All right, this is it. Which of the following statements are true? Two answers. No, I think it can. I think that's true. I think that's it. Let's see what I did. <gasps> Question five is incomplete. Which one of the following lines properly starts a param parameterless function definition? That was easy. 